What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Batman, and it's five o'clock in the morning, and I'm still bringing you guys a video. If you like that sort of dedication, please click that like and subscribe button for me. It really helps out the channel, and I'm going to try to be helpful to you guys and give you guys a little bit of a heads up on the competition, give you my impressions on Splatoon, and some of the gameplay mechanics so you can guys have a leg up on the competition when you go into the beta this weekend. So I played about an hour of the game. I'm going to give you my raw impressions. Obviously, it's not really fair to judge a game after an hour of play, but I'm going to do my best to do that. And if you're wondering, hey, can I log on during the hour that they say that it's available and then play to my heart's desire? No. You can only play for that hour. I was on from 11 p.m. till midnight Eastern time. And as soon as 12.01 hit, they kicked my ass off the servers. So, you guys got to get in your time with Splatoon if you're iffy or on the ropes rub about it. Hopefully, I help you out with your decision here. The very first thing I want to point out, this game is not like every other shooter. It doesn't matter about your kill to death. It doesn't matter about your skill. You can totally sit back and just, as long as you cover over 50% of the map, you win with your, with your team's color paint. As long as you cover over 50% of that map, you're a winner, baby. So, you can totally just stay back. Avoid everybody and just paint away and then when you get your teammates around you can start, you know You know helping them out and, and spray more of the map. This is what I'm kind of doing here I'm staying back look when I first started the game. I try to go where my teammates aren't going um, and, and, and do that, you know and, and, and paint that side of the map so that I have that locked down and I'll get that's that's my first positive you can play the game different It's different than other shooters, which I really like now my first negative is the guns uh, I only found me to be really successful with a few of the guns. Mainly, the only gun I really didn't like was the, the sniper rifle. It's like called the charger or something like that. But it charges up and then you release it and it's a one-shot kill if you, if, you, if you land it. Now, you see somebody trying to land me right here with it. You see that line going across? That's the sniper and it doesn't cover a lot of the map with paint. So, it's not very useful. Now, everybody and their mama is using the roller. That's like the equivalent of the shotgun. It's up close and personal. If you roll over somebody, it's a one-shot kill. I'm using something that's kind of like an assault rifle slash submachine gun. It's really short range, but it's, it's good damage, and it's uh, fully automatic. Now, one of the gameplay mechanics is if you're in your own ink, you're fine. Good to, and look at that. That's so cool. That's your respawn animation. You actually can choose where to respawn on the gamepad. You can choose to respawn on your teammates, kind of like Battlefield, and it's really cool. You get launched up in the air like that. But anyways, like I said, you can... Uh, you, you travel in your own ink, and then if you're in enemy ink, you get slowed down and you also get hurt. So you really want to spray the ground at your feet with your own ink if you're going to be traveling around. And it is also much quicker to travel as a squid than it is as the humanoid. So the really cool gameplay mechanic that I love is you're faster as a squid when you're traveling in your own ink, or your team's colored ink, and then... The also other awesome thing is you reload the same way to, to refill all your ink in your little canister that's on your back there. You swim around in the ink. Isn't that cool? Um, if you guys saw that little arrow and that little uh, beeping noise behind me, that's a teammate spawning on you if you didn't know. But I'll give you guys a pro tip real quick. You see these roller guys? You see how much area they cover? Just go the opposite way of them or just you know clean up after them and, and get what they missed. Uh, let them do their thing and, and roll away. You don't really want to follow them. That's not going to really be really helpful. Go and do your own thing. See, this guy's got that locked up. So I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to go down here and start spraying this area. So that's the point of the game. Just spray whoever covers the most. I think that's cool. I think that's fun. Um, there's also abilities for each character. You see how it says click, uh, click the right stick in for me to use my ability. I don't really use it much because it's like a bubble that protects me. And my teammates if I'm near my teammates. But I don't really use it much because I, I didn't really come into contact with people in this in this game. But the other guys have really cool abilities. I think this the regular splatter gun, I'm using the splatter gun junior. If you uh if you use the splatter gun, I think you get like this unlimited for un, for a short amount of time, unlimited like paint bombs and you just throw paint grenades, 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 and they, they really like paint a lot of area. And I think the roller guys have like this super big tornado cyclone thing. And whoever gets caught in that cyclone of paint, you know, gets killed. And I think that also paints a certain area too. So that's really cool. Um, and then you get grenades on top of that. So that's just some of the gameplay mechanics. 
Uh, really, another cool thing with the gamepad while you're in a loading screen, um, there's like this mini game that you can play, or mini games that you can play. I think there's more in the final version of the game, but it's like a kind of like a doodle jump. Uh, it's cool, but the loading screens don't last long at all, so you're only in them for like 10 seconds, so you know it's not really worth playing uh, in the loading screen. But overall impressions, guys, I'd give this game a seven, six to seven out of ten. Solid six to seven out of ten. Um, the only reason that I'm kind of iffy about this game, I don't know if it's going to keep my attention for long. Like, am I going to keep coming back to this game for more? And I don't know yet because it's the beta and there's supposed to be a lot more customization in the final game, like outfits and gear and stuff, which I'm a sucker for. I like games like that. That keeps me coming back for more. If you could tell me I can earn hard gear or a cool outfit that not a lot of people are going to be able to earn because it's like a hard challenge that I got to do, I'm down for the challenge. I'm going to do it. I like stuff like that, and there's supposed to be a lot of that in Splatoon, so I should probably wait to judge it by by that, but from the beta and stuff, that's the only thing I'm worried about. We'll have to see when the final game comes out. It's very much like Destiny, too. It has a cool... not. I, it's, the game itself is not like Destiny, but um, there's like a tower. If you ever played Destiny, the tower, the little social hub area, there's one of those in Splatoon. It's not in the beta. I haven't got a chance to see it, but... Um, it's, it has like shops and you know a gunsmith and stuff to you know customize your character and your guns and each clothing has its own kind of perks and stuff so there's some really cool stuff to, to look forward to in Splatoon. Um, another thing is really cool is you can actually string together jumps and stuff like uh, if you're going across a gap if you're in your squid form you'll actually jump farther so it's cool to like string that together you want to like dive into the paint and then jump across. Which I didn't really do in the beta much. I don't know why. I couldn't find it. I couldn't find an a area to jump across using a squid and like scale a jump. But uh, besides that, I think this game is really cool, guys. I hope you guys will enjoy it. Hopefully, this video gave you some tips uh, that you needed and just some impressions and you, you found it helpful. If you did find it helpful, please click that like and subscribe button for me. Like I said, it really helps me out. I was trying to be helpful to you guys, so please be helpful to me. Click that like and subscribe. And I gotta go play Destiny because my boy Zer is selling Thunderlord right now. And that's like the last exotic I need in the game to have them all. So I'm super pumped for that. And uh, for all your gaming needs, go ahead and stay tuned to Gameaholics, baby. We do it all. And we'll be back with more Splatoon in the future. And until next time, guys, Patman out.